Hi friends, we'll learn about PHP if else checking. So in this, based on a certain condition output, true or false, some statements will be executed. We'll learn all about this. We are in our editor, <coughs> right side we'll see the output. So let's declare the our variables first because it's easy if you take an integer variable and compare it it's for easy understanding. And let's say I'm second variable, I'm taking 10. Two variables will compare by using if statement. If j is greater, sorry, let's start less than k, then what it should do? It should, let's say it should print one uh, output saying that, saying uh, whatever the values, variable dollar j. <clears throat> now this will print the value. Now I want to, we want as a string also it should tell which variable it is. So for that I will just escape this j. So two are there. So first it will print as a string this is, so dollar j or variable j it will say, then the value will be coming. So value is less than, it is first if j is less than k. So if I will say again same principle, k now okay so first it will print the value a uh, print the string then the value of that variable so that's all i will close this let's uh, refresh this and see variable the 5 this 5 is the value for this value is less than k so this is how we, because we have checked it with a if condition this condition returns true then this statement will be executed let's add a else condition to this else this part will be executed when this particular condition checking this is became false so we'll say write simple here echo whatever statement because now it is not greater than i'll just copy this up to this and change this is greater than so this line will be executed i saved it now refresh. Now there won't be any change because uh, value we have not changed. Now let's make this as 15. Save this refreshing. Value of J15 value is greater than 10. So this is how the else works. When the if condition is false, then also we can check once more for uh, some other test we can do. For that we will use else if. So let's just change this value to 10. So we'll keep it 10 and let's keep this value as 5. Now here we'll instead of else, we'll say else if. Means I am asking for one more condition check. Now I'll say if dollar j is greater than 10, this value is greater than 10, then do this. So let's just keep it 12. So variable uh, now j value is greater than now instead of that we will say greater than 10 so we will check this now let's just run this and see how this works variable the value is greater than 10 because this condition has failed then one more condition check here it is introduced so this statement became true and this is printed now even after else if suppose this has failed then this condition has also failed then what happened we can conclude this by giving a else condition also so here we will say echo variable uh, let's say same thing j i will ask sorry here i will escape this and then print the value again the is uh, because it is no no more than it is not value is less than 10 but it is greater than greater than 5 why because here it this will fail then this test is also it is not greater than say let's give the value as okay we'll run once we'll get the same output now fine now let's change it to 8 now what you know this condition will fail this condition will also fail so the else part should execute i am saving this refreshing this Okay, I think I have to zoom out. Okay, here you can see this. Now, echo 8 is less than 10, but greater than 5. We'll use a ternary operator, so our code will be less. So, let's just remove up to this. Okay, now we'll say another variable. We'll say mark is, some exam mark is 65. 
now instead of writing a series e fails all this i can just check quickly i can say what is my what is the status so the student has passed or fell status equal to str sorry status equal to here mark greater than 50 say more than 50 then it is passed then this te ternary operator i have put it so i am saying if it is true then pass then what is false here you note a colon here here i will say fail now close the statement now this i my status got I, one of these two values it will have so i will just print this that's all so uh, this this entire line takes care of this up to from here it, it's a if if condition check so i have saved this and running this it is pass okay it is 65 now let's make it 40 45 so what happens it's fail so this is the check this operator and the value and note that this colon is used so this if it is true then this is the value it this status will get this value if it is false then this value it will get let's see one more example where you will practically how this uh, ternary operator can be used so for that let's change this one up to this we'll delete now we'll say name name equal to will str len this function tells the how many characters is the number of character present in the in a string or anything when you pass it in the string is actually used so for whatever data you have passed number of characters present in that it's the length of the string so for that i am using get method what is gate and name is we'll discuss shortly so this already we have a tutorial on this totally so this receives the uh, gate method the value in the key value pair when you pass to address bar or in the gate method we get the value like this so to capture that value we'll use this so gate if strln gate is greater than 2 so here the condition it is it is the condition true or false then that operator we are using then assign this name the same value so i'll say get again name same value if it is not so if it is if it is less than two that means there is a blank you can assume it's a blank so we'll say anonymous and let me close this also so this will get the value this our name will get now finally we also want to check it so we'll say echo what's the name value i've saved it now let just change this one we'll, we'll slightly here you can see in the address i am creating a uh, name equal to say raju fine so i am getting the name here now that name should be printed because it is more than two character so i'll just enter you see here this raju name is printed because this condition has checked now let's remove this don't will not keep anything here so what happens see the output whatever it is we'll understand nested if condition where we'll keep one condition inside another so we'll let's say mark equal to let it be 80 so we'll say that first if mark is greater than 50 let's say greater than 50 then we'll say go you passed fine now in this we, we, we have done it our one is closed then we'll do one more check also so we, we are again saying if mark is greater than 80 then so this i am writing it here end of inner if condition so you can uh, just which bracket is for what so here i will say echo you got or whatever you want to write write it i have to close the statement here fine now let's just say so there are two ifs in is a nested if condition so one checked it is passed or failed it is more than 20 and if it is more than 80 then i give this extra message so let's just refresh this and see you passed 
what's my mark it's okay 80 so it is now i let me just put it 85 you got distinction also okay now let me bring it to 45 so there is no f else condition here i can add a else condition uh, else try next time okay so let's run this try next time if condition checks are frequently used in the in our scripts so say in one situation if you have multiple uh, conditions are there say what's the weekday based on a monday to sunday different different messages you want to give so you know out of the seven conditions one condition will always be true will you use a multiple seven if conditions no in that case we'll use switch condition so there are certain advantage of using different different condition checks on different situations we'll discuss all about that when you move to our scripting parts and we'll next we'll discuss about the switch conditions and i will request you Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post the new new videos. We frequently do that. And another thing, you if you have any doubt, suggestion, question, any feedbacks or anything you want to develop, use the comment section below to post it. We'll uh, together we can discuss that. And you are facing any difficulty also, post it in the comment section. And please share this video and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.